I was discussing the idea of human motivation in my previous video. Why do we ever do anything? Um, basically, positive and negative motivation. Are we? Um, do we do things in order to avoid the whip or in order to get the carrot? Uh, a lot of people will say that we only do anything because we are determined to do so, because the causal chain has made it impossible for us to do otherwise. And I would say that's kind of a, a misreading of what even hard determinism implies. Um, there's no thing out there called causality determining things. Uh, there's no causal chain. Now, this is just my view. I'm not saying, I'm not presenting any of this as fact, but this is my view of what <clears throat> determinism says. It just, it's an explanation as to why we do things as opposed to, um, as opposed to an actual system that exists out there to get things to happen. Um, it goes back to my, one of my favorite quotes from Seneca, um, where he says, we Romans being practical people and logical and reasonable and scientifically minded, at least by the standards of the ancient world, um, say that lightning is caused by the collision of clouds, or thunder is caused by the collision of clouds. Now, that was high science, I guess, in the ancient world. Uh, the uh, Etruscans, being a very canny people, being a very um, esoteric bunch of people, uh, and being very religious, say that clouds collide in order to, pr to create thunder and lightning. <clears throat> this is the difference between Romans and Etruscans, fundamentally. Now, <clears throat> that interests me because, again, when you start talking about things like the causal chain, people say, like, people get fall into the habit of discussing it or referring to it or talking about it as though it's something that exists as opposed to just an explanation that we in the present impose upon the past. Um, it's not... I notice a lot of people fall into this trap of sort of anthropomorphizing concepts. Um, causality, even in terms of um, our application of its quote-unquote rules to human motivation, is just a placeholder. It's just sort of a phantom or a god that we've created to explain things. There's no thing out there ca ca called causality, in my opinion, churning out the events of the universe. Um, we're simply saying that this is what is going on. Um, <clears throat> now, we do this all the time. We do this all the time in terms of um, other concepts where, you know, I, I often get into a discussion with people when I'm discussing my favorite bogeyman, scientism, where <clears throat> people say, well, science rules supreme and uh, anything else is rubbish because it all relies on ghosts. Science relies on facts. Okay, you think it does, but not necessarily. Mass, matter, energy, space, time, inertia, um, numbers, all this stuff, science relies on heavily, almost probably exclusively, on all of this stuff. Show me some mass. I don't want you to explain to me what mass is. Show me some mass in and of itself. So show me some time in and of itself. Uh, some space, some um, inertia, whatever. Whatever sort of phenomenon you care to use that science is supposedly uh, relying upon to produce these facts. And you'll realize that they don't really exist. They're simply placeholders, things that we've created in order to manage reality. <clears throat> this doesn't mean that these things actually exist in the same way that, you know, this hairbrush exists, which I now need because I've now got hair, which is why I keep wearing these hats. Um, one of these days I'll have to make sure my eyes are particularly insane, let my hair go crazy, and do a video without a shirt with my room being particularly disorderly if I want to be true to form here on YouTube. <laughs> no names, please. Um, <clears throat> but I think about that all the time. And, and it permeates many of the YouTube debates out there. I just had a bit of a debate on the idea of property and property being theft and all that kind of thing and whether or not it is and whether or not taxation is theft and this sort of thing. People fall into the habit of assuming that the government is a thing. Uh, that the government is um, a thing out there that actually has existence in and of itself, etc., or the state, or whatever you want to call it. 
uh, and it doesn't. It's just a concept that we've adopted as part of our mythology of a, uh, as a society to help us manage our own affairs. The government doesn't exist. The government is only a concept. There's no such thing. I live in Canada. There's no such thing as the province of Ontario or British Columbia. There's no such thing as the city of Ottawa. There's no such thing as the office of prime minister. It's all just stuff that we've cooked up that we say this does exist for the purposes of us managing our own affairs. Um, <clears throat> again, this kind of stuff permeates all of our our entire society, our entire civilization, arguably even the language I'm speaking is nothing more than an artifice. In fact, I think it's not even arguable that it is an, artif an artifice, because it is an artifice. Grammar doesn't exist. Lexicon doesn't exist. Um, you know, none of this stuff exists. These are simply tools of our own creation uh, that we use to make sense out of the reality around us. Um, so... I think that thinking with concepts is a skill that a lot of people don't really bother to master because, again, it has to do with thinking about thinking. And so many people make the error of, of just taking everything at face value. And I suppose, you know, empiricism isn't necessarily an error, but it's a conscious sort of anchoring that, um, that you make this assumption. And if you don't, if you, if you don't make this assumption, then a lot of Western thinking or a lot of thinking in general just simply collapses and evaporates into you know, nothing. Um, <clears throat> concepts may, for practical purposes, exist. For example, try and, try and act as though the government doesn't exist. Watch what happens. <laughs> you may as well act as though it does exist, even though it doesn't exist, because for all practical purposes, it does exist. But that still doesn't mean that the government exists. Same with things like the laws of physics. Space, time, inertia, mass, energy, whatever, time. They may not actually exist, but try and act as though they do exist. We are not... We haven't discovered the existence of mass or energy or whatever, these scientific axioms, these scientific anchors. We've, uh, in my opinion, we've kind of created them as placeholders in order to manage reality. Um... A lot of people who who call themselves Darwinists or who you know heavily subscribe to the idea of evolution seem to see evolution and natural selection as processes. Even the 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 whole um, the lexicon surrounding natural selection, survival of the fittest, um, passing on your DNA, um, um, <clears throat> just the term natural selection in, in and of itself, it, it makes you think that there is an actual process out there that's taking place, as opposed to, we survived because our ancestors adapted to their environment, as opposed to, we are now adapting to our environment in order to survive. You see, there's two different, you know, cause and effect thing, you know, here. It, and a lot of people don't seem to see the difference between this. Now, it may simply be my take on how I see all these things being discussed, cause and effect especially, um, because if you actually look at causality for what it is, it's nowhere near the explanation everybody thinks it is. <laughs> Neither is science. Um, even, you know, stuff that we consider hard science isn't nearly as solid as we think it is. Um, it's all axioms. It's all based upon things that are convenient for us to adopt as facts. Um, and the problem is, of course, this always leads to sort of sloppy thinking. Because you start to think, again, when you use terms like, say, determinism or the causal chain or um, human motivation, whatever you want to talk about, rather than saying we're explaining this by using the metaphor known as causality, cause and effect, or motivation, or why. People believe that there is something out there, external to everything else, called the causal chain, or called um, uh, whatever you want to call it, the mechanics of the universe, universing, anything, whatever you want to sort of call that process. E even even calling it a process, I think, is kind of um, erroneous. 
there's no process out there. <laughs> it's just we create these things to impose upon a reality that we really don't understand. And that helps us manage that reality. But that doesn't mean that we really understand what is happening or even that the the um, the processes that we create, cause and effect, matter, energy, empty space, whatever you want to call these things, evolution, natural selection, it doesn't mean that these things exist. Um, this is, I think, where these sorts of things migrate into the realm of religion, faith, belief. You can believe in the causal chain. You can believe in mass and energy. Um, you can believe in all kinds of stuff that isn't there. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't need to be a god. Oh, here comes my son again. I guess I'll have to wind this video down. Um, but ultimately, thinking with concepts actually can create all kinds of errors if you're not conscious of what concepts are and what where they come from and what their ultimate nature is. Um, causality is a creation of the human mind. It's not a thing out there that exists in and of itself. Um, this doesn't mean that we can just disregard it all, but it does mean, it, 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 it's sort of a caution to say that just because our use of the, the, the causal chain as a prop for understanding things or managing reality, uh, it's a mistake to say then that is actually a fact, that causality is a fact, causality is a thing that actually exists. I don't think that it is, and I don't see any evidence or any argument that it does. Um, but it's surprising how many people fall into the habit of using these things in exactly that way. <laughs>